Today I'll show you how to create your own SSH key pair that you can use with GitHub as well as your web server if you're using one. But today we'll only be showing you how to do it with GitHub. And there's also an annoying glitch that can occur when generating in keys and I'll show you how to bypass. It's the error permission denied public key. But first, let's go ahead and I'll show you how to create one. So if you don't have a SSH directory, you would go you do a make directory mkdir.ssh. However, I've created it already. And I'll show you the make key. So what you do is do this. Do SSH keygen, and then let's give it our email. It'll be do that. So we'll hit it generate and give it a name. Now, in my experience, giving it a name is not fun as you'll have to do a weird thing to get it working which is why we will not be doing that we will only be we'll be making a generic identity for this machine so no name and for this we're not going to give it a password same passphrase again then i'll do this and to then put it in GitHub, you need to do a cat. Then it'll be called id.rsa.pub. Now we'll take that. And copy it and put it on our clipboard. And then do that, we go to our GitHub page, go to settings, then right here, SSH and GPG keys, and new SSH key, and then paste it in there, and then give it a useful title. In this case, it would be desktop. Hit add key. Now, to test whether that worked, I created a repository that has nothing in it. So if this will work, I can do a git clone of that repository and see it works. Now if we what if we given it a name? Let's say you decide to ignore my advice. Let's create a new key. Same email. Let's name it GitHub. No passphrase. There, so let's do it. Ls dot ssh. Uh, actually, which, as you see, it's not there. But if you do an ls in your home directory, you'll see that they were put there. So let's move those to the dot ssh. Let's copy it. And add a new key. Let's call it GitHub and add it. Now, let's delete this old key to make sure it doesn't work. And then do an... Get rid of that test. Uh, let's pull it again. Yes, you see, permission denied public key. Fatal cannot read from public reposit from remote repository. So to fix it, we need to copy this. And we'll give us ID 
then do SSH add and then do that and I'll add the identity and then now you see it works. However, I have to do a git clone. Oops. Now I git clone. You see that it fails. So you have to go back, do the evaluate again, SSH agent dot S, then add the key again, and then it doesn't work, which is why don't give it a name. It will make your life much easier. And that's my advice for you today, is don't give your main SSH key on your computer a name. And that'll be all. So take this advice and use it to your advantage. And don't generate a, don't give your key a name. It will just make your life harder.